Hi everybody, welcome back to another quick tutorial in Unity. Today I'm going to show you how to code swipe gestures in C Sharp. Check it out. So we have a game object here, a robot, but it's just for demo purposes to show you how to detect swipe gestures. So if I swipe right, the game object rotates left, same, you know, like right up and down. All right, so how to do that? Here's the code you need. It actually, it's pretty easy. Not so many lines of code as you can see. So I will explain you line by line. I have a public game object target here, which is this robot. As I said before, just for demo purposes, to rotate it 60 degrees based on the swipe direction. The important part is to first declare these three vector2 variables, first and second press position. The first press position is when you click the mouse or touch your mobile device. And the second press position, actually it's not a real press position, but it's when you lift your finger from touch screen or you lift the finger from the left mouse button. Then we have the current swipe, which is actually the direction of our swipe gesture. Nothing to write here in start, everything goes here inside the update function. So first of all, touch down here, which is also the click. Input get mouse button down zero, the left mouse button, or one finger on a touch screen. First press position, it's a new vector two, input mouse position X or input mouse position Y. So both horizontal and vertical direction. We don't need to detect the Z axis, it's just the X and Y axis. Then if input get mouse button up zero, so when we'll release the finger from our mouse or from our mobile device, the second press position, it's actually the same instance as the first press position. Input mouse button X and input dot mouse button Y. So it's actually, we click here, then we swipe and we end the swipe here. We have to detect the first and second position here. Then we can finally get our current swipe, which is another vector two based on the second press position X minus the first press position X and the second press position Y axis minus the first press position Y axis. Here are the if cases here. So if current y swipe dot Y is greater than 120, this is a default flow, you know, a minimum distance of your swipe. We have swiped up. So in this case, just for this tutorial, we rotate our target of 60 degrees in the X axis. In order to swipe down, we have to detect if the current swipe dot Y is less than minus 120. It's a float here, the app indicates a float, which means that we swipe down, so we rotate our target of minus 60 in the X axis again. Swipe left, current swipe dot X is less than minus 120, we swipe left. And last, if our current swipe dot X is greater than 120, we swipe right. Let's check it out again. All right, swipe up. You can see the console here, also swipe up. Swipe down, again, right and left. Everything works. All right, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to my channel to stay updated about new videos and tutorials. And don't forget to play my games if you want to have some fun and keep your brain healthy. Links are in the description. See you next time.